Hello everyone, welcome back to Alkaline Hydroxide 784 and I'm feeling a bit unhinged today so I'm gonna react to this um, you know video that someone put up a day ago and it's titled I survived a day in Yishun. Gone wrong. Hmm. Clearly this is meant for me to react to. <laughs> I haven't actually watched the video yet so we're literally going to be watching it right now. Okay, so the very first thing I see is please don't take this video seriously. Uh, let's see about that, shall we? With the first step I took into Yishun, well, everything just felt different. Well, of course everything feels different here. Hmm. Clearly, like what was different about Yishun? Just, just another neighborhood in Singapore. We still have a lot of cars, we still have a lot of buses. Perhaps the only thing I can think that's different is that there's actually a lot of shelters. So, you know, that's great. <laughs> Even when it rains, you don't need an umbrella. <laughs> Walking around to see if I could find anything to eat, but the first thing I realized was how many warning signs there were. Warning signs? Well... Look, if... If, you know, you need warning signs in your everyday life, even adults require warnings to not do funny things. It doesn't just apply to Ishun, you know. It's not like Ishun has got some maniac cat killers or ghosts or something going on, right? I'm gonna get something to eat first inside this mall because there's a lot of food in here. Dude, you, you have to be careful. <laughs> you have to look <laughs> in front of you when you're walking. Why for no reason? I've never seen another town like this. Look, once once again, I don't remember ever hitting a barrier and I consider myself a very careless person. Pro tip, if you're walking around, please don't look at your phone, guys. I walked around in the f and I looked at my phone, I always end up hitting something in the MRT station and not in Yishun, actually. So, you know. But I didn't really want to take a bus again and waste even more money on transport, so bike rental would be the wiser choice over here. Actually, on a side note, it's great that there were <laughs> bike rentals once upon a time and they're finally coming back. Because it was really nice to cycle around Yishun. The only thing you gotta be worried about is if you're, if for some reason you decide to walk on the bicycle track, you might accidentally get hit by a cyclist. I think that's the, probably the only scary thing in find Yishun. Just cyclists and actually no, what's even scarier are those people on the scooters, the the ones playing the that the what's that thing called the EDM music. Oh no, those things are the scariest. Needed to get. Oh, wow. wonderful Oscar slow motion right there. But yeah, once again, you're just not very careful. I couldn't even eat anymore because my mode of transportation is destroyed. Apparently, there was a water park nearby. I was so excited. <laughs> I wasn't even hungry anymore, and I just wanted to have fun. Somehow the bicycle undestroyed itself. Yep, totally legit. Um, I almost died. This is going to get a 4 out of 10 for me. Too dangerous. Um, well, I, I can't really deny it. Some of these playground things are a bit sketchy. <laughs> but as kids, we somehow managed to survive and go through all of the craziness that playgrounds have to offer. But this isn't really unique to Yishun, right? After having so much fun in Yishun, I wanted to do one last thing. I figured that since I was already in Yishun, I wanted to buy something on Carousel. Alright, so that's a problem. I've already been playing for like 20 minutes and the guy's not even here yet. So I don't know, maybe he's just really late. Oh, wow, there's suddenly a chase right in the middle of Yishun. I've, I've never seen this in, in my entire life, so... But okay, cool. On the train ride home, I really had to just sit down and just recap on what just happened. Yeah, I guess you really do need to, you know, figure out your safety priorities at this point. If you're just tripping over barriers and destroying your bike and not finding the correct carousel seller, like, you, you really have to recap and reflect on yourself. And I think I've come to the conclusion that don't go Yishun. Seriously, that's your conclusion. Don't go to Yishun. 
I've been in Yishun my entire life. Look, I'm fine. I've totally not gone into any issues so far, as far as I know of. Thank you for watching. Here are some bloopers. Oh well, that's a nice video. Thanks for maybe promoting Yishun. <laughs> Um, yeah, as you can see, he kind of had to go through and took off fake some of the stuff in order to dramatize the so-called danger of Yishun, but in reality, Yishun is just another town in Singapore. I mean, if I go to Jurong, it looks pretty much the same. If I go to, maybe not Pungo or Sengkang, Pungo looks very different from Yishun or Jurong. If I go to Woodlands or, I don't know, any other place, I don't really walk around other neighborhoods that much. Or even Angokyo, North Sarangun. All those places look pretty much the same. But I'm pretty sure the reason why Yishun gets a lot of bad rap is probably because maybe it just originally started off as a like one pivotal news that made the news for many days. And then people just got hooked onto it. And then somehow all the Yishun news just gets more promoted than news in other places, even though there are crazy things happening all over Singapore, not just in Yishun. So yeah, uh, yeah it's a nice video. And uh, as an Yishuner, I, I approve <laughs> of the video. And yeah, there is, it is not at all a challenge to survive a day in Yishun. Just you know, stay in North Point and you have all the food that you can get. That is if you can pass through all the barriers, I suppose. Yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching this slightly unhinged random video, <laughs> and bye.